this is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Equivalent Boolean expressions. Some conditional statements, don't let this scare you, they mean if, right? Some if statements can be written as Boolean expressions and vice versa. Let's see what this looks like. Do this. Run the code and look at the first example. I'm hitting run, but uh. All right, so our first example says false, false, true. And why does it do that? Let me see. Well, we have a variable eight. Well, we have a variable y, and y is equal to eight, all right? Now down here, we have this new variable x. And x is equal to whatever this Boolean is. And Boolean, keep in mind, always just means true, false. It sounds freaky, it's true or it's false. So what this does here is we're asking the computer, is y less than six? And if it is, if y is less than six, then x is true. If that is false, if y is, I don't know, eight, hint, y is eight, then this is false and x is equal to literally just the word false. And that's why when we council log this right here, we're council logging it, the word false appears. Now let's take a look at this. We do if y is less than six, well, what did we just say? If y is less than six, they're showing us that these are equivalent, that these are going to produce the same result. So if I say var x equals y less than six, this is still a Boolean expression, and we're creating a variable that is equal to the word false, because y is equal to eight. Eight is less than six. The answer to this is false, and so x is false. When we print x, when we console log x, x is false. And then let's say we do this. If y is less than six, same thing, right? We're still asking the question, hey, computer, is y less than six? This time, though, instead of making x equal to the result, we say, if that's true, okay, the computer says true. Yeah, y is less. Okay, then we dip into here, and x would then be equal to true. We would skip the else and console log it down here. Now, if it is false, if that happens to be false, which it is, right, because y is 8, we skip the true, it's false, so it doesn't run this purple code, it goes down to the else, runs else automatically, x is now equal to false, and it counts logs the word false. Okay? So what was y? y is 8, and what's getting printed? Well, y is equal to 8, is y less than 6? False, so x is false, council log, false. Then what gets printed? Y, 8 is less than 6, that's false. So we get under our else, x is false, and we council log false. Now down here, what do we council log? Variable b is equal to a greater than 2. Is a greater than 2? We're asking a question. This is a Boolean. Well, is 3 greater than 2? Yeah, that's true, right? So B would then be equal to true. They want us to demonstrate, though, with if statements, how we can do this exact same thing. They're trying to show you it's shorter at times if you just create a variable and make it equal to a Boolean, make it equal to this, rather than doing this whole chunk of an if thing. But let's go ahead and do the if. Okay. Uh, we don't need a blank line if you want to be fancy like them. We can add one. I'm just going to go here and hit enter and put a fancy blank line. All right. I'll hit reset. And so what do we want to do? Well, just like they did here, y is less than 6, y is less than 6, a is greater than 2. a is greater than 2, okay? And then what do we do? x true, x false, b, because b is going to be a Boolean here, right? This a is greater than 2 is a question, and the computer would say true or false, so b would equal true or false. So now down here, we can use b again. And if a is greater than 2, we would want b to be true. If a is not greater than 2, we want b to be false. And then we need to council log it. I'm going to delete all this stuff and type b. Oh, is b the same variable? Nope, they used x up here. We're using b. Perfect. Let's give it a try. So notice right now it's printing three times, but we added a fourth. Boom. And there we go. And see how that works? So we can use if statements like we did here and here and get the same result. But sometimes it's nice to just go ahead and assign directly a variable to a true false statement. And we'll see more of this if it's not clicking yet. Onward.